And this is Alan. <laughs> <laughs> we are planting our garden. Well, starting a garden. Today is January 4th, and we're going to be planting our herbs. I got Not to be confused with November 4th. <laughs> January 4th. And we have quite a few herbs we are going to plant here in this fish tank. We are repurposing, as you can see down here. This is our fish tank that we are going to make a herb garden. And then I bought a couple of vegetables that we're going to start in a strawberry container. And then we'll repurpose when we get garden beds out in the backyard. And we got these carrots, lettuce, and onion for our vegetables. I'll bring you guys down here and show you how we're starting. I did some research. We are going to be adding mulch, compost, and topsoil. I didn't buy the greatest topsoil, but you know what? We got compost. We got other good stuff. We'll see how it goes. Sounds good. I mean, it doesn't hurt you. We only wasted 20 bucks if it doesn't work. <laughs> it's going to work. It's going to work. Okay, you want to get the scissors and we can start putting the mulch in there. I'll bring you guys over. We are here in our garage. If you guys don't remember past videos, we got this brown mulch. It's just basic because it helps keep the moisture. Um, we got this topsoil. I see it's ideal for filling in holes, but you know what? It probably means it has less chemicals and crap in it. And then we got this nice compost, cow manure, and all other stuff. We have started our own compost for our garden in the backyard. We will be building a bigger, a bigger, a better composting area for it. Right now it's just on the back of our fence, kind of in a little area that we plan on using. Do I need to find gloves? Or should we just use our hands? That's up to you. Okay. And we're using these strawberry containers because it lets out the water. And we figured this would be a great starter for our vegetables because it comes with the lid and it can keep moisture and let moisture out when need be. Should I do these first? Let's okay. do the big one first. Okay, let's do the big ones first. I say that's good enough for mulch. Let's add the poop. <laughs> let's poop it out. When in doubt, poop it out. Make that one of our stickers. When in doubt, poop it out. Yep. There. You sure didn't know you were on some poop. I know. It's looking great, ain't it? Some words that come to mind. Great isn't one of them, but <laughs> as long as it makes you happy, babe. <laughs> and now, let's add the soil. Great, I got our shirt dirty. <laughs> I think we're ready to add some soil. Or not soil. Seeds? Some seeds. 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 Alright. Let's start with basil. This is our second time trying to grow a garden. The first time was in pre-COVID or when COVID first started. And we did pretty good. Then we let them die. Do you remember the tubs at the old house? You don't? Okay. And then we save some seeds for later. 
Next up is parsley. That one is done. Next up is rosemary. Now we're going to do dill. What's the dill? I don't know. I know what the dill is. You know the dill? It's good smells. One. It's time. It's dill time. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's dill time. It's dill time. Mm -hmm. Now it is all packed down. We're going to do the same thing like we did in there. Mulch, compost, and topsoil. hard to grow tomatoes here but I hear Everglade tomatoes grow great here they're little tiny ones little baby ones but since we have a really nice covered porch I'm thinking maybe some of the tomatoes in a potted plant and not in the raised garden so I can so I can take out and then put in every day I know majority of these vegetables need six plus hours. We are getting a garden light tomorrow for the fish tank and then another one over there for, oh, where's the chicken lamp? So we can see what kind of bulb to buy yeah. tomorrow. It's in the shed. Okay, so we can have those two items going. But yeah, we wanna learn how to do some things. We got chicken. They say it starts with chickens and then gardening and then baking bread, but I've been baking bread for years. It's just I don't do it consistently. But now we're gonna clean up and call it a day. Water. Oh yeah, gotta get the watering can. Well, we have watered them. I did that off camera because our watering can is broken. We gotta buy a new one tomorrow. But that is gonna conclude day one. I'm quite excited. Um, I didn't wanna put too much stuff in here. That way it, um, it helps the veggies grow and it keeps the heat in here. I might put a plastic cover on this. I don't know why. No. Garage gets warm, stays warm. But yeah, we are going to consider this day one checked. Well, today is January 5th and we went to the store and bought more stuff to garden with. This is my helper today. This 
is Alan. This is Alan. Woo! This is Alan. All right. Um, Jay, why don't you go fill the watering can? What am I, chopped liver today? I'm not a helper. That's uh, Bob. I'm camera down. Since we already have lamps, we went ahead and bought bulbs for the inside to help light up these veggies before we put them outside. Then we bought these little <laughs> these little cups. I think I'm gonna put uh, some herb, more herbs in them. I got some plant seed. Uh, we used this before and it really worked on our veggies. Um, the only reason why our veggies didn't live is because of us not watering them. The seeds that we got today are zucchini, cucumbers, and a pico de gallo garden with tomatoes, cilantro, and hot pepper. I'm probably gonna put the hot pepper and the cilantro in these cups. And then we bought this at Walmart today. And it has food already started in here. And we're gonna put more lettuce and the cukes and the zooks and the carrots in this one. Since I'm over here, I'm just gonna feed these real quick. All I'm doing, well, what I'm going to do is just break this in half since it's not really deep in here, and then just drop it in. Oh wow. You have to adjust it. Ugh. Where were you the night of the 5th? Today is the 5th. So we haven't had night yet. Exactly. So my alibi is good. Yeah. My Alan. Bye. The Alan. Bye. Now I'm going to bring you guys over to the little containers we planted yesterday. I'm going to be growing a lot of jalapenos, cilantro, and tomato. These are the ones in the Pico de Gallo garden that I've talked to before, talked to you guys earlier about. This is what I'm doing right now. It's just as they're soaking, just trying to pull them apart. Sure. 
that is day two of gardening. Uh, we decided to get more stuff. So this is what we got. We got the little sun lamp going down on all my herbs. And then we have that lamp on the, the garden area. This time we will check back in a week. Oh, 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 o